I totally believe that we need to be the first voice, whether um, we get the buyers through Facebook leads or it's expired or Facebook. Doesn't matter where they're coming from. You need to be the very, very first person to call them. Other, if, if you don't do that, there are um, so many other agents that they're going to do it for you and you're going to lose the game. So um, call the leads as soon as um, they click on your street text ad or um, they see their names on expired listings or for sale by owners. Here's what I do. Let's, I'm going to talk about the street text leads because I think a lot of us know how to deal with the for sale by owners and expires. So I'm not going to talk about them. I'm just going to talk about um, um, online leads, which is Facebook, street text, um, or Google leads. So um, with the street text, a lot of times we see that um, the leads put their names, their phone numbers, and their email. So if the prospect leaves their name and their phone number, call them before you send them anything. Uh, call them before you send them a home valuation report and try to get a face-to-face -face appointment. The face-to-face -face appointment will change everything. If there is no contact information, there is no phone number, um, you have the address, go to Realist, go to your MLS and try to <clears throat> find the name of the owner. And then uh, when you have the owner's name, try to go to some websites such as truepeoplesearch.com and find the phone number there. And again, call them. So try to make that um, conversation first. I mean, that would be the very first thing that you want to do. Try to make the conversation first to see if there is any opportunity for a face-to-face -face appointment. Because guess what? They're going to receive a lot of emails from um, hundred other, I mean, thousands of other agents. So if you don't get face-to-face -face appointment or if you don't um, initiate that first conversation, probably we don't have a lot of chances with them. Um, if they if they were not okay with the first face-to-face um, uh, -face appointment, just grab some information, continue the conversation over the phone. Just ask them how old is their roof and when was the last time that they painted the house, like these kind of the questions. And try to continue the conversation with this um, kind of sentences that, um, Mr. And Mrs. Seller, thank you so much for your time. I'm going to um, send you the report today before rest of five, but can I ask you one quick question before I let you go? Then ask more questions, um, ask them about what is their motivation? Um, why did they ask for the home valuation report? Is it just they were, uh, they were curious about that and ask them, okay, so let's say for example, if oh, you want to sell the house, where would you go next? So that kind of basically make them think about like moving and selling the house. And um, finally, you really want to ask them that um, just out of curiosity, if you are confident that you can get the right amount now, whatever, and that can help you actually to move to your destination, um, would that be something that you want to do now? So based on this last question, I put them in two different, three different groups. I have hot lead, warm lead, and nurture lead. The hot lead ones are the ones that tell me um, I need to sell within a month or two months. The warm leads um, are the ones who gives me a window between three to six months. And the nurture ones are the ones that tell me uh, we're not ready yet. We don't know yet. And each of these groups have their own uh, follow-up system. So with the hot leads, um, I normally, um, I try to touch base with them like every week through calls, texts, and they receive uh, weekly market updates from me. They receive monthly mailers. Um, they have um, homebot emails from me. And for every occasion, birthdays, um, anything like anniversary, any um, uh, Valentine, Thanksgiving, holidays, I'll just send them goodies. For the warm leads, um, they get a little bit less love from me, So, but they get monthly calls and texts. Um, weekly mar uh, market update, they get monthly mailers and they get monthly homebot. And the nurturers, they get periodic calls from me. So depending on, on when they want to make a decision, so I give them a call either every two months or every three months. It really depends on them, but I don't let them be forgotten. And they also get uh, weekly in, um, market updates from me, monthly homebot emails. And these are the platforms that I use. Uh, well, my very first lead generation is a street text. As soon as I get a lead in the street text, I put them in Vulcan 7. Vulcan 7 has been super useful for me. It's my dialer, my CRM, and, and I run some email campaigns through them. I use BombBomb Bomb a lot. Um, I send um, weekly market updates through BombBomb Bomb because it goes with uh, videos and a lot of photos. And with my monthly mailers, I use Mailbox Power because we're talking about over 200 mailers um, every month. So I don't have a time to sit down and put them uh, myself in the pocket or um, in the envelope or put this down myself. So I use Mailbox Flowers. I love their service. They're amazing and they're not expensive at all. And um, I also use Homebot. So Homebot actually we use um, 
I mean, as everybody said, we use our monthly home valuation email. But if you have any questions about the follow-up system, please let me know. Uh, my phone number is there, 702-504-6939.